On New Year's Day 2024, a magnitude 7.5 earthquake hit the northwest coast of the island of Honshu, Japan. Let's look at the tectonic setting for that earthquake. Earthquakes are distributed around the world and define the boundaries of tectonic plates. Here's the island of Honshu and this shows the distribution of earthquakes for a 25 year period. Color coded for depth. You can see there's a huge cluster of earthquakes over there on the right hand side on the east coast. The earthquake on New Year's Day occurred over here on the northwest coast of Honshu. There was another earthquake, not quite as large, back in March 2007, in the same general area. So of course, earthquakes in Japan are well known, and perhaps the most infamous was in 2011 for Tohoku. And this shows the tectonic setting for that earthquake as the floor of the Pacific Ocean is driven down beneath the island of Honshu in a process called subduction. So the earthquakes that have been most studied in Japan are associated with this subduction process, this type of tectonics. So the subduction zones of Japan can be traced out like this. These are places where most of the relative plate motion is accommodated. And so the floor of the Pacific is going in at about eight centimeters a year, converging with Japan. This is, if you like, the driver for all the earthquakes. But the New Year's Day earthquake occurred not on the plate boundary, but over on the other side of Honshu Island. So the subduction zone isn't the source of the earthquake. What might be going on over here? So the United States Geological Survey seismological team published this focal mechanism for the earthquake and it tells us the nature of the faulting associated with the earthquake. This type of pattern results for something called thrust faulting. Thrust faulting happens when rocks are pushed together, creating a fault driving one rock unit over another. So this is the type of faulting that's happened on New Year's Day. We can get an idea of what might be going on by looking at a published seismic profile, which has imaged the geology below the seabed in the area shown on the map. Here is that seismic profile published by Van Horn and others a few years ago. And they interpret it like this, showing a series of faults coming from the gray basement rocks and the layers of sedimentary rocks below the seabed showing these types of movement. So what might be going on here? We can use the layers of sedimentary rocks to deduce the history of faulting over geological time. These faults started as normal faults associated with pulling the crust apart and then have been pushed back together again as thrust faults. We can cartoon this up like this. So this shows what happens when rocks are pulled apart, so-called normal faults, and then as they reactivate, the rocks are pushed back up again like this, creating a rather diagnostic pattern in the layers. And it's this that we see on the seismic profile. So perhaps the earthquake on New Year's Day has its origins on reactivated normal faults well away from the subduction zone on the far side of Honshu. Understanding where ancient faults lie in the subsurface is therefore important to help us understand and forecast where future earthquakes may occur.